<laughs> have you seen that video? Mm -mm. I think the joke just went really far over my head. It's like these Japanese nationalists who are like standing outside of a hotel and they're yelling at some white people and they're going like, WHITE TORPEDO GO HOME! I just watched like this video of this guy from Norway today and he was like, so just imagine this, this only happens in Norway. Basically, they stand up very early and they make their breakfast at 6 p.m. Uh, no, not 6 p.m. 6 a.m. And I was just like, dude, like people make breakfast all over the world, not just in Norway. But he was like, this only happens in Norway. Imagine if Donkey Kong was racist and he went, why to take go home? Stupid fucking I mean, he kind of is racist because they just took his bananas. He could have just been sharing a bit. He's very fucking entitled. Yeah, and especially like bananas are like the most fucking frequently found resource on this fucking island. Yeah, he should have just smashed some random barrels and looked into treasure chests that are for some reason full of bananas. Maybe this is just his excuse to like go out for once, you know? I wonder if Donkey Kong realizes how long he has until his bananas go bad. I mean, yeah, that's actually something when I was a kid that I didn't... that I was thinking about, like, how does he have all these bananas? How many does he fucking eat per day to, like, not have any... I mean, the more bananas you have, the faster they go bad, because they have... Yeah, like, when faster. one goes bad, they all go bad, right? So he's, like, putting his bananas at risk by putting them all in one room. Maybe, maybe Trump should, like, teach Donkey Kong a, a thing or two about finances. He knows, he knows a lot about that. <laughs> so the first thing you do is you don't pay your taxes for your casinos. Donkey Kong doesn't pay taxes, he's a monkey. He's yes, a monkey. <laughs> I don't want to get into politics. Like, I feel like I'm not very... I'm, I'm like, no good at talking about Let's politics. Let's not talk about nothing. fucking politics, fuck off. Exactly. Then don't mention Trump, dude. <laughs> you were the one no, that mentioned but... him first. Yeah, but like I didn't start about politics. I just it's because no, no, Trump I'm not talking to about... you. I'm not talking to you, HP. I'm talking to Ryan. Ryan, you were the one that brought it up first. No, I didn't mention Trump first. I was just like no, I was but Trump does not. Then... Trump does not equal the uh, 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 politics. Trump. Let's is... move on from this topic really quickly and never talk about it again. Ryan, you fucking loser, look what you did, you ruined, you ruined the gameplay for everyone yes. involved. You fucking faggot. I did that on purpose for fuck's sake. Very hey, nice. C hey Cece, what, what, what would you do if you were just lying in bed and then all of a sudden Donkey Kong came in the room? And he he came to kiss you on your forehead, and he said, "Hey, hey, hey! Good night, sweet prince." And then he fucking dig, digs his thumbs in the inside of your eye sockets as deep as he can. I feel like that's a loaded Yo, question. By the way, I finally opened my. So I'll Etsy decline to stay. I sell shit now. Buy my shit. What if, what if, what if Donkey Kong came in your room and he said, Have you seen my balloon? And then he starts fucking breaking all of your shit. I'd be like, Donkey Kong, no, that's not okay. And then he'd say, hey, not hey, again. hey, I'm Fat Albert. And then he'd turn into Fat Albert. I don't know why, but I would just be the guy who would just take the opportunity to make a joke and just be there like, Oh my god, not no. again! No! No! Oh! HP! Yeah! Oh no, uh, I needed the barrel for this! Crap! What do you think- what do you think this video is gonna come out? Um... Tomorrow! It's gonna be released sometime next year. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I punched him! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then my then my question is, what's your guys' thoughts on illegal trespassing on YouTube? 
Illegal trespassing? What the fuck are you talking about? Alright, so have you seen those videos on YouTube where people will climb like really tall buildings or like cranes? And then what's oh, I've the done police? That before. Oh wait, do you mean like like, like uh, those fucking 24 hour challenges that they did like a year ago? No, well, it's like climbing the no, no, biggest no, no, no. arena in London. No, no, no. Crap, crap, crap. And they basically are banned from every theme park because they climb. No! Right. No! <laughs> Why? I used to be so good at these. Fuck. If you want my opinion on that thing, it's basically, I, I don't mind them oh, doing it as long off. as they don't steal shit, but they shouldn't do it if they're told to get off. Yeah, because with legal Because law they actually like... Legally, they put the people who own the building into risk because if they get hurt, the people who own the building are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> As well, it's like uh, trespassing. It it becomes illegal once like a police officer asks hey, you. Hey, to wait, leave wait, wait! Hold up! And what then the that's fuck? When it Why? Uh. Like honestly, those, I like those videos. They are entertaining, but if they're already told to get off, they shouldn't be laughing fuck about you. having to run away from the police. Yeah. They let the, like the they cops actually, don't want to be there either. Do they like, the do they, is, like no actually like laugh at the fucking YouTube. police while they're running away? They totally laugh all the time. They're just like, oh my god, oh my god, this is so funny. The but like, are these the same? Us. Are these like the same people, or is this like a fucking trend? Uh, it's it's different people. Like, there's tons of different people that that make these types of videos on on YouTube. One of those guys like literally breaks into water parks sometimes and I'm like no, not okay with that sort of stuff because if they get hurt inside the water park, the people who own the water park will have serious legal issues. But it's yeah, their fucking sure. fault. Like you know what I don't understand, like let's go just for a fucking bit, right? Let's go back to the, the thing about YouTube uh, losing advertisers because of commenters. It's like, oh there's pedophiles who make use of YouTube. Oh, yeah, as if there's no pedophiles who watch fucking TV, you know? Oh, there's a, there's a fucking pedophile who watched The Simpsons. Now, uh, now they're gonna cancel the fucking Simpsons. I mean... Didn't they just get renewed? Like, Christ almighty. Well, yeah, well, like, The Simpsons has is, is been... The Simpsons have been, it's been terrible for longer than it's ever been good at this point. It's never gonna die. It, it, no, it isn't. Just like Family Guy and like... Yeah, it's like Family oh, Guy, shit. I think. Uh, it's just... It, that show used to like... like I liked it at one point, and then I, it made me angry for a while, and now I just kind of don't care about it anymore. It's just all, also cringy. Family like, Guy just makes me cringe. That CC it's was just talking about. bad. It's so Dude, let's bad. just go back to the topic that Cece was talking about for a second. Like, I was just... Guy also nope. break into like a fucking bounce nope. house, like you know, one of those places where they have all of the trampolines, right? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And that, I'm like not mainly... okay with that either because you're gonna break shit there if you're like jumping on the trampolines with shoes on. Because you know, they have rules for that shit there for a reason. Those things break yeah. fucking easily as fuck. Yeah. And it's expensive to repair stuff and they have to clean stuff for sanitary reasons as well. If you're like on there with your street shoes and all that Woo! shit. You're just like getting those people into like big trouble for like not having enough locks on the doors and shit. And in the worst case, a place has to shut down because you broke in for just some like just some fun. You're gonna make that place a living Whoa! hell because people are gonna try doing what you did. People yeah. are going to try to break into that place using the method you used. Mm -hmm. Whoa! And, and the thing is, is I'm, I, I'm making a video on this, right? Because no one's talking about this at all. And the thing is, is that if some kid tries to replicate these stunts, like let's say James Kingston is one of the big ones that just, he mainly just does crane climbs, where he just cl times, climbs to the top of a crane, and then will climb back down, but if a stupid kid tries to replicate that, and he falls off and dies, the media is gonna pick up on that, and YouTube's gonna get screwed over big time if people- if- if the media starts connecting it to channels like- No, Kingston's. no, 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 no! You know, like, I work as an engineer. Dude, like, we should talk in private more. <laughs> like, see, see, we have to talk about it more. Because, you know, I work in engineering, so I climb cranes every now and then. And the personal protective equipment you need to do that shit 
is insane. Like I need to wear a hard hat, high visibility clothing and two harnesses. Because if I was to just slip, I'd be fucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'd be very happy. Yeah, and then, and then these people just climb on it with like no safety equipment at all. They're just like, oh, looks like the crane's unoccupied, let's climb And they're the holding crane. a camera in one hand sometimes. Yeah, like, they are. Okay, if, they're, if they hold a... If they have like a harness for the camera, okay. But like, if you hold it in your hand, like, Jesus Christ, are you fucking stupid? Climbing a ladder with one hand. I'm Most Johnny fucking Knoxville. commercial ladders have a sticker climbing. on there that say, don't do that. Imagine if Johnny like when Knoxville... when I'm at work, I'm not even allowed to climb a ladder without using a fucking hard hat. Imagine if Johnny I'm Knoxville has a YouTube channel and he, he does the, the, cr the crane climbing channels and the challenge and he goes, I'm Johnny Knoxville and don't do this at home. It's like, who's gonna listen to that? Who's gonna listen to don't do this no. at home? Woo! Oh! Um... I mean, I feel like they, Jackass the did the don't do this at home gets cancelled out by haha, ha, oh my god guys, this was so fucking awesome. Like yeah. that just cancels out the whole don't do this at home, oh, it's fuck. dangerous. If you're just like, this was really fun. Yeah, because like in Jackass that didn't even fucking help because stupid people still did those fucking stunts. Yeah, stupid people will always be stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking... It just baffles my mind though that like no one talks about the the trespassing videos. Like no one talks badly about. I haven't them. I haven't even I, heard about those. I, I didn't even know until now. Just Honestly, look up. it's crazy. It's it's really crazy because they just they tres trespass without thinking about it twice and they laugh about it while they are quite quite literally cr uh, like they're in the middle of doing a crime, which is dangerous for them, the owners of the building the technicians and everybody involved and the policemen involved who have to chase after them. It's just so dangerous. And YouTube it's looks so at it and they're like, cute. okay, we're gonna demonetize your channel, but you can keep your videos up. We're gonna keep your channel monetized, James Kingston and some other guy named like Taylor something, who does like BMX trespassing. He like gets his bike and trespasses on these gigantic on these uh, gigantic buildings riding his bike. And it's like why are these channels even monetized as well? That's another thing. Like, he, YouTube's, like, not only is YouTube keeping the videos up, they're keeping two of these channels that, that are, like, majorly popular for their trespassing videos. They're keeping them monetized. Like, that's going to backfire in YouTube's face so hard. And I'm also, like, those, those trespassing in there. YouTubers, look, they're, like, look. those trespassing yes. YouTubers, they are, like, family-friendly as well. They don't swear. Oi! 